and welcome back to Platypie Baseball here on the Classic Cookie Gaming Channel. I am Cookie Changeup Cutter and welcome to the Platypie versus the Herbosaurus here at the Emerald Diamond. And uh, your 17 and 7 Platypie up here in first place, four games ahead of the B Wolves in their division. Herbivores are, or sorry, Herbosaurs are. Um, Second place in their division, I, I believe 14 and 8. And Dame Bowman will get the start for the Herbosaur. She has a four seamer, two seamer slider, curve, and changeup, is a righty. And this is her first start and, or outing of the entire season. So we'll see how she does. She quickly goes to 0 and 2 on Kitty Kaufman, the leadoff hitter for your Platypie. She'll foul it off, and now that's ripped into left field, short porch there, but can't quite get it to the wall, and Reeves, the left fielder for the Herbosaurs, will make the grab for out number one. Important to note in this one, it there it is a DH game. Ball one outside, and your DH for the plot, the DH for the plot, if I way up first, that's ripped deep into center field, and that one is a goner. A home run. For Harrow, Wugliams her third of the year, 414 feet, 18th RBI of the year, and it's 1-0 Platypie early on on this Tuesday evening special. 1-0 down, 2-0 to Beefcake McStevens. 3-0, no one wants to pitch to Beefcake. As I was saying before, Harrow O. Wugliams uh, interrupted with a huge home run to start things off. As that's a walk to Beefcake. Um, and now Muffin Settled will step in. The DH is Sky Rodriguez. And you'll probably notice after this uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, a bit of a different look in the bottom half of the order. As that's hit up the middle, base hit. Sacks out in center. Will field and fire into the shortstop, Coleman. And now here's Scooter Sambrick batting fifth with the runners at first and second. Ducks on the pond for him. As that's hit into the hole between third and short. The Platypie runners, once the controller disconnects, will play it station to station. Bases are loaded now for Sky Rodriguez, the DH. She is batting sixth on the day. Once again, the designated hitter, and she's going to rip one foul. Another one foul on a chained up or maybe a two seamer there. The 0 2. Inside, try to get her with another two seamer. Couldn't quite do it. And now that's hit to the uh, second baseman, Stewart. Coleman will fire to first after the flip, and the inning will end, unfortunately, on a double play. One run will score, however. Supply to Pie 1, and the Herbosaur is coming up here. Henry Hamster will. I uh, lead things off. He's the third baseman for the Herbosaur. Zumar, Rufus Zumar, will get the start. He features a, or he has a 5.79 ERA, a 150 WHIP, 15 Ks on the year. Features a four seamer, a two seamer, a slider, a curve, and a fork ball. And now that's a hard hit grounder to Kaufman. She'll knock it down. Fire to first, just not in time. Great play to knock that thing down and almost had him at first too. Just couldn't quite get it there in time. And now runner on first with nobody out. Your defensive alignment already know about Zumar. Um, Tugboat Thomas is the other half of the battery. Left to right we have Muffin as that's popped up. Shallow. No, sorry. Into, in, still in the infield. Kerry Cartman at shortstop will make the grab. Left to right Muffin Studwick. Uh, center field is Willie Bacon right is Hera O'Wugliams third to first. We have Beefcake McStevens, Kerry Cartman, which you just saw, Kitty Kaufman at second, and first play first base is Scooter Sandbrick. Ralph Blue, who is the DH for the Herbosaurus, will step in now with one out. And runner on first, and that, that's a ground or sorry, a fly ball into the alley, but caught by Studwick. Good jump and snagged that thing right as it was about to uh Right as it was taking a nosedive to the turf. Grunt Manley will step in. Now he's playing first for the Herbosaurs. 
And there's strike one. And it's a little weird playing a road game for the for the Platypi. Haven't done it in I think four or five games. And now it's down the line. Just foul, says the outfield umpire in left field. And now that's popped as the runner's going. Heading foul. It'll stay fair, but won't matter because Harrow Williams will make the running grab to end the bottom half of the first inning. Still one nothing Platypi through one. Kerry Cartman now coming to face Bowman, and now that's hit into left field, scorched, but caught by Sachs out there in center field. That's ball one high, and my apologies. Oh, sorry. Uh, as that's hit, popped up into the infield. Bowman under, she'll make the grab for out number two. My apologies, the defensive alignment. Hamster playing third, Stanberg at right. Blue is DHing. First base is Manley. Shortstop Coleman. Sack center field. Left field is Reeves. Rojas has catching duties today. And Stewart in at second base. Willie Bacon now stepping in. He's batting ninth on the day. Strike one. Looking to be somewhat of a, of a second leadoff hitter. And there's now ball two. So two and one. And now it's lined down the line. Stopped by... The third baseman, Hamster, but it'll get by him. So still a base hit. Saved extra bases there. But Kitty Kaufman now as the lineup card flips on over. And now that's a pickoff attempt to first. Good scoop over there. But still couldn't uh, couldn't get Bacon. The 0-1 pitch inside. Ball one. And oh, they have Beefcake. Or sorry, Willie Bacon. Caught in a rundown. And that'll end the inning so they'll essentially with that base running blunder go uh, one two three and now Dervish Coleman will step in against Rufus Zumar who had a scoreless top or sorry bottom of the first and now the one two payoff pitch is popped under it is Sandbrick didn't have to move too far, and he'll make the grab for out number one for Yoink uh, Sacks. Playing center field, and will immediately ground one foul. And there's ball one. The 1-1 one, one is a strike. Now the 1-2 payoff is going to be swung through for strike three, a whiff job. Zumar will pick up a K, and now two outs. And now Reeves will hit one up the middle, just past the diving uh, Kaufman. And Bacon will get this one back into the infield. Runner on first. Two outs now. Strike one. And big deal here. Got to make sure you halt, halt, them, halt them right there. No pitcher spot to work with. And now Kaufman, or sorry, Cartman cannot make the grab. Luckily, Muffin will get it back into third quickly, so no going first to third. Now, runners up first and second with two outs. Milo Stewart, the second baseman. Quickly falls 0-2, the 0-2 pitch in the dirt. Gets by Tugboat. He'll fire to third, and it's not in time. The 1-2, they're going down to the dirt again. This time, Tugboat will scoop it. And now the 2-2 two -two up and in froze him in Iceberg. Not even the Titanic could break him there. Kitty Kaufman down to hit and she's going to rip one back up the middle for a base hit. So a leadoff single for Kaufman. We'll see if she's running. Hera Wugliams now will step in. She knocked a homer. So far the only run for either team. And they're immediately going to try to pick off Kaufman. Or at least keep her honest over there. She has been picked off a lot. But now that's down the line. That's going to hit the chalk. Kaufman will get to third. The throw's going to come into second. And it's late. Oh my goodness though. Uh, the tag by Stewart made it really close. Uh, behind the back tag. Still couldn't uh, make get the out though. And now here comes Beefcake. It will take ball one. He's going to whack that one foul. 1-1 one one now. Well inside 2-1. They do not want to pitch to him here.
but on deck is Studwick. And out to Liner, straight to Coleman at short, and now couldn't quite double up Kaufman at third, so still one out. The infield now will shift back. Muffin Studwick is going to hit, and it's now 2-0 to him. He's going to rip one, but it's going to be caught in the air again. Another try to double up Kaufman, but it will once again go in vain. Scooter Sandbrick will step in with two outs, and oh my word, Bowman got out of it. With runners at second and third, and nobody out, the Platypi cannot cash in. And now Henry Hamster will lead off. It's still a one nothing game, and make that a one to one game. That ball is crushed. My goodness. Looked like he took an 8-iron and just smashed it out of the ballpark. It's a tie ball game. His third homer of the year. And so, solo shot. So far, the only blood drawn for either team. Now, it quickly goes 2-1 to Sandberg. 3-1 now to Zumar. And now, he's going to walk him. And so things not looking good. A solo shot and then a walk. And there's strike one. Herbisaurs are a tough ball club. But he's going to get it back into it uh, with an 0 2 count. Uh, foul ball there. The 0 2 pitch. Ball one. Now runner is going. It's an out. Or sorry, a strikeout. But. The runner will be safe at second, as I believe it was Kaufman dropped the ball out there. But it did skip in. So now one out, 0-1 to Grunt Manley, who now has a runner on second base after a stolen base. And now that's going to be hit into left. Sandbrick, or, or Studwick, sorry, is under it. The fire into third is on the money, but late. Oh, man. Nearly made the last out at third base a big no-no, but just did slide in there. Now strike one. And now that's up the middle. A run will score with ease. Unfortunately, now 2-1 for the Herbisaurs' favor. And Yoink Sacks is going to step in. And Sandbrick will backhand this one and step on the bag himself for out number three, but not before a couple of runs on a solo shot. Along with a uh, single that got, all, or sorry, a walk that got all the way in. Now Sky Rodriguez will step in to try and maybe hit one to that Ferris wheel out there in right center field. But first she'll take ball one, and now she's gonna rip one up the middle base hit, and she's on the board with a hit now. Good job for Rodriguez, and we'll lead off the inning with something good. Now Kerry Cartman will step up. He's going to show bunt. He's going to pull back in. Oh, apparently caught the corner. Not so sure about that one. And oh, and she's getting the top and bottom of the zone. As now that's going to be blooped into right field. But Stanberg will jog over and make the crap grab. Should say more like galloping over. So now Tug Tugboat Thomas will step into bat. Strike one. She is getting that top of the zone and the bottom once again. And runner is in motion. Swung on a miss strike three. The throw is in time. Trying to get something going there. Could not. And it's a strike him out. Throw him out. Double play to end the inning for the Platypi. Steve-O Reeves will step in now. And fooled on a first pitch fork ball. Strike one. Strike two. Another fork ball. That one looking. Popped up in shallow left field. Cartman will call everyone off. And there's out number one. Juan Rojas will step in now. He'll take strike one. And trying to jam him but couldn't quite get it in enough. And it'll be a single for Rojas. With one out. And now Milo Stewart, the number nine hitter, will step in. And he'll take a look at ball one. The 1-0 is a strike. 
The 1-1. Grounded to Kaufman. She'll field. Fire to second. In time. Throw to first. Double play to end it. Let's hope the momentum has shifted back into the pot of pie dugout. And Willie Bacon will lead things off here. And will bloop one foul. Looking to get something going. No offense since that homer. And now Hamster will make a great diving stop. Fire to first. And out number one. Just the 48th pitch from Bowman now, and that's a strike to Kitty Kaufman. And there's a ball high. And now that ball is crushed deep. Oh, but not deep enough as Sachs will make the grab at the wall. For Harrow Wugliams now with two outs, nobody on, has a homer and a double. Seems to be the only one really seeing Bowman well, and she's... Immediately going to go 3-0. and 3-1 and one now. And that's outside. So, in her first two at-bats, O'Wugliams homered and doubled. And now they'll pitch around her with two outs for Beefcake McStevens, who will see ball one. Interesting to choice there. And now Beefcake's going to rip one, a frozen rope. But the rope will end in Sax's glove for out number three. Hamster will lead off here. Not going great on a Tuesday, on this Tuesday evening special, but Sandbrick will will uh, field and step on first. Luckily, a very good ball game here. The one and one. Ball two. Two and one. And now Beefcake will field it, throw to first, and there's out number two. Ralph Blue will step in. He's... Once again, the DH, and he'll take a big 74-mile-an-hour hook for strike one, and now he'll rip a second one for strike two. And now the 0-2 pitch is hit high and deep. Muffin is going to try to make a grab, and he will! An epic catch for Muffin Studwick will rob extra bases. I don't know how he did that. A perfectly timed leap, and he used all of his height to grab that one. And now, don't you see it all the time? A great defensive play, and then immediately gets into bat. The 58th pitch from Bowman here in the top of the six is a ball. There's ball two, 2-0. Two and, oh. and Muffin will check his swing there. And now that's down the line. Fair ball. It'll roll into the corner. And oh, Sam Sandberg just looked at it for a second. Don't know if he was... Couldn't quite pick it up on the uh, the sun is glaring into um, the sun is glaring into that warning track which is already light enough. But now runner on second for Scooter and he's gonna actually show bunt and oh no it's caught on the fly throw to second is in time doubled up uh, muffin and now there's out number two here's Sky Rodriguez. And that's a gut buster, but this one is it to left and just misses the wall. Reeves will make the grab, and there is out number three. So, a promising start for the Pie to Pie, but unfortunately, nothing doing. And now, in the bottom half of the six, this one flying by. Really, just the one blemish so far. Or on uh, or one blemished inning, I guess I should say, is that's a high fly ball, and caught by Studwick right on the line, on the foul line for out number one. And there's strike two, but just the one blemish. It was that uh, third inning, I believe, and now grounded foul. The O2 will be ripped on a line. A Wugliams will it'll just be past her diving glove. She's gonna fire it into third. It'll be cut off by Cartman heading to third. That would have been a one or two hopper though. She's once again has a cannon. That was from right field too. In the corner, that is. But uh Sachs will come in to pit or come up to the plate here. Sorry, my words are running a little together there. 
the uh, mid-game mid -game tiredness or fatigue is getting to me a little bit. And now they're just going to pitch out here to intentionally walk after going 3-1. and one. Intentionally walk sacks. And that's going to be the end of the line for Zumar. Uh, Remington Sharp is going to come into pitch. And he'll face Stevo Reeves first with one out. And Kaufman will catch that one on the fly. Tried to double him up at second, but won't quite be able to. And now Ro Juan Rojas will step in. Now with two outs, runners on first and second. Setting up inside is Tugboat, and there's a ball. 2-0 to the eight hitter. 3-0. And he'll check his swing, and it is a walk to load the bases and face Milo Stewart. First pitch, ball, five straight outside the zone. There's a strike. One and one. That's hit up the middle. Kaufman with a, a diving grab to end the inning. So back-to-back -back innings for the Platypie with great catches to end them. That one saved at least one, probably two. And now Car Car uh, Cartman will line out to start the bottom half, or sorry, the top half of the seventh inning. And now Tugboat's going to rip this one into left. It's going to bang off the wall, but he'll only be able to get a single out of it as that's a, once again, short porching left. Really to both corners, but especially left field and... Now Willie Bacon will step in with one out. Tugboat not the fastest over there. And we'll see. Actually, Tugboat is... They're going to have a pinch runner for him. And it's going to be... It's going to be Rory... No, Linda Hand. Linda Hand is going to come in to pinch run. And there's ball two. Two and one. The 2-1 runner is going well outside. The throw is not in time. So on base for Linda. Now a 3-1 count for Willie Bacon, who's going to pop this one deep. That is going to be off the wall. Hit so hard, it will only be a single once again. Linda had to hold to make sure a catch wasn't made on that one. So it'll be first and third for Kitty Kaufman here. Tough to double her up. We'll see what they do. It's going to be lined foul. Bacon is going to be running. That's hit up the middle, and it'll be a run scored. The throw to first in time, but a run once again will score. It's now tie ball game for Hera O'Wugliams here. And risky there to send the runner, but it worked out to save the double play. Oh, what what a play there. Now 2-0 to Hera O'Wugliams, who's going to pop this one up the middle, but leaping grab by Coleman, and it's going to stay a tie ball game. And we have seen some great defense on both sides. Linda Hand uh, pinch ran and ended up scoring, but she will now be subbed out for uh, Chase Tabule. And now strike one from Remington Sharp, who's staying out there after getting two outs to end the last inning. Also walked a batter and is down two and one here. And now out number one with a great grab by Sandbrick to his left on a diving stop. My word, another diving stop by a fielder in this game. And now to McStevens, he won't have to dive. He'll just field it, fire to first. And there is out number two, pardon the hiccup. And now here is Ralph Blue. And he will line one into left, but Muffin will make the grab on the run. A nice running catch for him. And there is out number three. Three up, three down. Go the Herbosaurs for Beefcake McStevens here. And will take ball one low. Ball two inside. He'll take ball three. And Bowman will walk him on four to bring up Muffin Studwick. And she's going to stay in the game. This is her 81st pitch coming up. Ball one high. The pressure is on here. 2-0 low. 
You almost have to wonder as how it's 3 0. They're just going to walk him. Right down Main Street, 3 and 1. The 3 1. And that will miss high ball for her. Runner was going. But it won't matter. And now Chuck Filthwick will come into pitch here against Scooter Sandberg. He has a four seamer, two seamer, and a slider. Has struck out 31 on the year. Has a 114 whip and a 292 ERA. And Sandberg is squaring and will take a strike inside, pulling back the bunt. And now he'll pull it back again. Ball one low. Couldn't get it down last time. He'll get it down beautifully this time. Only throws to first. And there's out number one. A beautiful bunt. And now it's time for Sky Rodriguez to shine. And she'll rip the first pitch foul. Infield is playing in. And now that's hit high and deep. This is going to be enough to score a run. And indeed it will. It's 3-2, a huge go-ahead sack fly by Sky Rodriguez. And now 3-2 and two is the lead for the pot of pie Carey Cartman a chance to tack on another run here. Muffin out there at second. And now it's up the middle. Muffin is going to be waved home. Sacks is going to throw it in. The, the play at the plate is well late. The, the throw is well late. And now it's 4-2. Pot of pie here in the 8th inning. Chase Tabule is up to bat. They're going to first pick off, try to pick off, um, try to pick off Cartman over there at first. 0-1. Oh, and Tabule hits this one deep in his first at bat of the game, but uh, it'll be caught by Sacks, but not before a couple runs come home to score to give the Pot of pie the lead heading into the bottom of the 8th inning. And Remington Sharp is going to stay in this ball game for the time being. And he's going to get a weak little fly ball into shallow or mid center field. Willie Bacon will uh, make the grab. And there is out number one. And there's strike one on the outside corner. 0 and 1. 0 and 2 quickly. The 0 2 pitch. Outside. The 1 and 2. Outside. The 2-2 two two pitch. Under it is Tabule. And he will make the grab for out number 2. Still in that batter circle. So didn't get far. far. And now Kitty Kaufman. As this is a blooper. She's going to call everyone off. And a great play to end the inning. For out number 3. Now 4-2. Or still 4-2 lead. For the uh, Platypie. As Willie Bacon will step in. And he's going to quickly go ahead and count 2-0. And, oh. and now that's ripped, but diving stop by Hamster. He'll fire to first in time for out number one. Here is Kitty Kaufman with one out. And she's going to pop one into left center field. And Sacks will be under it for out number two. Hera Oluglium's is up now. She'll take ball one. The 2 2 pitch fouled off by Hera. Fouled off again. Good job fouling. Pitches off here, and oh, she'll check her swing, but it doesn't matter. It's called strike three. So they'll get a nice pick out to get her as she was frozen on that one. And. Now it's going to be Walt Huckster to come in and try to close out this game with a pot of pie leading 4-2. to two. And the 7-8-9 hitter is coming in. And this one originally hit foul but comes back fair. And Sandberg will make the play for out number one. Now one out for Juan Rojas. That's strike one. Strike two on a foul ball. They're setting up up and in. The pitch is inside. Ball one. Up and in again and shatters his bat. And that's back. Tabule won't be able to make a grab as that's off the netting. And now one and two setting up down and away. And that's foul. And the uh, infield now shifted for no doubles defense. Ball two up and in. 
The 2 2 setting up down below, and oh, fooled him. Tabule will strap on an apron, do some housekeeping, and there's out number two. So now Milo Stewart, the last hope for the herb herbivores. And there is strike one. Now that's grounded just past the diving Kaufman. Throw to first by O. Wugliams, not in time. And now two outs. With a runner on first now. And a chance to tie this ball game has Henry Hamster, the leadoff hitter. And Huckster falls 2-0 to him. Strike one. Strike two. And checks his swing there. Three and two. Runner is going with the full count. And that's going to be through. And split the alley. Bacon will get it in. There's still going to be a play at the plate. The th Relay is just late. It's a 4-3 ball game. Morton Stan Stanberg is in. And he, uh, now with a chance to tie the ball game. And he'll do just that. A run will score. Hera can't stop that one. It'll get all the way to the wall. And now the winning run for them is on third base. And they're going to go to the pen here. Kamari Roundhouse. It's going to try to get Ralph Blue here. Ball one. Roundhouse sidewinder. He has a four-seamer, two-seamer, slider, curveball, a three ERA on the year, 122 whip, and eight strikeouts. He'll need a, well, he doesn't need a strikeout here, but he's some sort of an out. That's ball three, and now they're just going to walk him. Intentional walk. And Grunt Manley will step in. That run at first does not matter. And now here's a ground ball. And Cartman will go the short way to second. We have a tie ball game going into the top of the 10th inning. And Remus Zong will come into pitch. He has a 736 ERA, 191 whip, and 4Ks. Has a four-seamer and a curveball. And Beefcake, first pitch will go the other way. For, and that's out number one on a... Uh, line out. Here's Muffin Studwick. Hoping to get something going here. Is Studwick and he'll quickly go 2-0. 3-0 now. The 3-0 pitch. And now it's hit high and deep. Going back is Sacks and he'll make the grab for out number 2. Scooter Sandbrick up. And he'll take a ball inside, 1-0. Ball two outside, 2-0. He's going to rip one, but caught by the shortstop Coleman. We're headed to the bottom half of the 10th inning. Kamari will stay out there to pitch the 10th. Be up against Dervish Coleman. And now that's hit high and deep. That ball is going. That ball is going. That ball is off the wall. Studwick will field it off the wall, fire in the third to keep it a double. And now nobody out with a runner on second base. And Sachs is going to hit here and will take strike one after taking ball one. It's one and one now inside. They're just trying to get him to hack at an inside slider. And he's not obliging. The 3 1 strike two. The 3 2 pitch. He'll check his swing. It's ball four. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. First pitch to Steve-O Reeves, the number seven hitter, is outside. Ball one. Ball two. The 2-0. Two -oh. Ball three. You cannot load the bases here. Strike one on the 3-1. Now a 3-1 pitch. Backdoor slider. Strike two. The and strike three. Throws him. And now there's one out for Juan Rojas. Who will take ball one. Already at 21. Now 22 pitches. Strike one. To Rojas, the catcher. Good. Still good speed despite being a catcher. That's strike two. That matters for a double play standpoint. The 2-2 two -two pops straight back. Walloped back, I should say. And now 3-2. and two. Once again, the 3-2 pitch. Froze him. Strike three with a backdoor slider. 
And now two outs with runners at first and second. And Nate Henke is going to come in here to pinch hit. He's got a 389 average on the year. Two homers and 11 RBIs. Runners are going. And oh no. No one's there. No one's home. And a runner will. The run will score. And oh no. That is going to end the ball game on a walk off. Hit and run. Here in the 10th inning. And unfortunately today your Platypie will lose. The final box score for the Platypie. Four runs on 11 hits, no errors. Five runs for the Herbosaurs on 12 hits, no errors. They came back all the way, down 4-2 in the ninth, and ended up winning it in the 10th. The winning pitcher will be Zhang, who went an inning, and will, his record will improve to 2-1. and one. Hamari Roundhouse will get the loss after going a full inning, uh, scattering two hits, giving up that final run, walking two batters, and striking a couple out. Your Metal Head Software players of the game, Henry Hamster, who went 3 for 5 with a homer, a double, and a couple RBIs with two runs scored. Hera O. Wugliams went 2 for 4 with a homer, a double, an RBI, a run scored. And Dervish Coleman, who went 3 for 5 with two doubles, an RBI, and a run scored. So despite the loss for your Platypie, I hope you enjoyed uh, this well thought out game of platypie baseball on the classic cookie gaming channel i am cookie cutter signing off have a good rest of your tuesday see ya